Hello, everybody, and happy January 21st, 2022, and welcome to National Museum Selfie Day. How exciting is that? So let's talk a little bit about selfies before we talk about museums, right? Because we know that museums are all over the world. They're uh, plentiful. And the reality is you can go just about to any place and find a, a, a really good museum. So in 1839, Robert Cornelius, an American pioneer photographer, takes the first known ever uh, photograph of himself making that the first known selfie, right? In the, late 18, in the late 1800s, with the development of cameras and just how much better they became, the uh, they started adding self-timers. So it gave you about five to 10 seconds to set up a shot, go run in front of it, take a photo. And because it was on film, you would hope you get that good look. You didn't know that you got it developed. Well, in 1914, Grand Duchess Anastasia of Russia took a, a picture of herself in front of a mirror and sent it to a friend. This became the first known um, teenager to take their own picture to send to somebody else. So taking their first selfie that way. Now we jump forward about a deck, uh, a century, right? And in 2002, we find the first mention of a selfie ever. And an Australian doctor, um, post a photograph of his face with a punctured bottom lip after falling over drunk, and he apologizes for the quality of his quote-unquote selfie. So in 2003, the first selfie cam comes out, and many of you might remember this, but the Sony Ericsson Z101 mobile phone introduced the first uh, that concept of a forward-facing camera. So you know, all of us are used today to having a great phone that has a camera on the back that's super high quality and a camera on the front that's a little less quality. But thank you, Sony Ericsson, for sending that out. In 2015, the selfie selfie stick was created, and five minutes later, Disney uh, bans it from their parks. Now, it was a few years later, but um, a lot of places don't like selfie sticks, especially amusement parks these days. So let's talk about um museum selfie day well you know it gives you an opportunity to be creative right um, and it brings museums to life and with cameras getting better all the time it, it allows you to take a photo have that remembrance of what's going on and it's a great way to do something so how can you celebrate um today well first Go pick out a museum that is out of your comfort zone. Don't go to one that you've been before. Go to one that you might never go to, right? There are 3,500 plus museums in the United States. And with that, take, your, um, take a selfie in a museum. And then go online and check out the best museum selfies from all over the world. And think about how you can brighten somebody's day who might not have been able to go to a museum if you were. And as always, make sure that you um, post your photo on social media and use hashtag DPBMuseum2022. And have a great National Museum Day, Museum Selfie Day. And again, this is Charles with the Daily Positivity Boost.